Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I came across a really cool tool. So I have installed it and I'm going to walk you through it. Uh, so I was actually recently visited this uh, vlog, rtlsdr.com. And this is a vlog on a new type of a fast scanner, which is available for your RTLSDR, AirSpy, and HackRF. It's called Mycola. Uh, this is a very good multi-channel scanner. I was working on it and I was walking through it. So just simply click on this link. It will take you to the web page. And the scanner looks something like this. So it's a free version. And uh, it allows you to, the free version allows you to actually monitor three channels at a time. But uh, using uh, pro version, you can actually monitor at least of like 20 different channels. So it is available for Windows and Mac OS. So since uh, I have already downloaded the Mac version and I have already installed it, just it's, I think uh, it's about seven megabytes of file, seven or eight megabytes of a installer that is available. So it looks something like this. So in the beginning, actually, you will see this interface uh, because I think this was designed by a programmer in Ukrainian. So you can go ahead here. Uh, when you first open it, you will see it like this. You will see uh, it's Ukrainian. So just simply go to this option all the way at the end and change the language to English. So everything will come into English language. So make sure it supports three different types of receivers. So RTL, HackRF, and AirSpy. Since I have my HackRF connected to it, just simply select HackRF. It will automatically choose the SAMP rate and everything for you. And you will also have different type of ranges, which is also available. For example, for AirBand, and for your VHF 130, 200, because this is for ham radio and for other stuff as well. You can also define your own range as well. So for example, these three ranges I added myself. So which is Wi-Fi 5 gigahertz, GSM 900 band, and Wi-Fi 2.4 gigahertz. This is I added myself. I'll show you how you can do that as well. So for example, let me give you a demo of wideband FM broadcast. So when you simply, once you have your device connected, select WFM broadcast and hit the start. So as you all can hear it, it will automatically choose three different channels. It automatically selected three different channels uh, from that Wi-Fi band. But if you had a pro version, it, you can do it like 20 channels at a time. So you can also do that. So simultaneously, it's actually capturing three different channels, and whichever has a higher frequent, uh, higher SNR, uh, you can play around with the gain as well, and it will it will give you three options that simultaneously demodulate them together. So, for example, if you want to look at just so all three channels are currently operating, uh, all three channels you can simultaneously hear it, but if you just want to look at only one channel, you can also do that. You want to turn this off you can also do that you are seeing also a waterfall graph as well and you're also seeing the spectrum uh, graph as well so this is when it comes to uh, your uh, wideband fm so for example if you just want to don't choose this just simply turn this off let's say you want to look at the activity at 2.4 gigahertz band so you can just simply select this because i have chosen this frequency myself so this is basically scanning from 2400 megahertz all the way up to 2500 megahertz and since I've added the range, so you can simply go in. As you can see that uh, I have added it from 2400 megahertz all the way up to 25, but you can only see three bands at a time. So that's the thing about it. Uh, so just cancel it. Uh, for example, let's just turn this off. Let's say you want to look at GSM 900. So it will actually show you three different uh, signal strength. When it comes to GSM 900, you will see a spectrum down here. You will see a waterfall graph individually for all of these frequencies that it's actually looking at. So the monitor frequency, if I were, if you were to look at it, this is somewhere around 935 all the way up to 960. But if you had a pro version, you can see like about 20 different uh, channels. Let me just simply cancel it. So for example, you want to look at 2.4 gigahertz. So right now this is at 2.4 gigahertz band. You're seeing the spectrum. So I really like this tool because you can actually download three different versions. You can you can actually monitor three different channels simultaneously. And with the pro version, definitely you can do more. Uh, you can also increase your gain. Uh, you can also increase your VGA. You can just turn off the volume here and you will see the spectrum. 
let's say you want to actually look at uh, 5 gigahertz band so you might see 938 over here as well because it's actually looking at the entire spectrum 930 and also at 2.4 gigahertz band is down here so let's say if i were to choose wi-fi 5 gigahertz so now you're actually looking at 5 gigahertz band and then i have a strong signal at 5624 megahertz so this is a very cool tool um, that i came across i just wanted to share it with you guys uh, it's an amazing tool which is called Mycolo, which is a free version that I'm using but you can definitely try using a different version, paid version, where you can actually work with 20 different channels, you can simultaneously look at uh, different channels. So for example, if you want to look at your airband, you can also do that at 200 megahertz. you want to look at airband as well, you can do that, you can want to look at VHF, you can also do that as well. So there's a lot of options which you can do by simply, if you want to add a channel, just simply go in and let's say i want to try 1825 one and eight let me delete two so this is 1875 which is like gsm 900 band and i want to add another channel at uh, 1901 so so let's say if i want to look at another one and let's just call it gsm 1800 megahertz band and save it so now basically let me just turn all of these guys off and turn this off so what you're looking at right now is only gsm 1800 megahertz band and the waterfall graph associated with it right here so that's a really really cool tool and uh, i actually really like it i don't know what type of features will uh, i mean it says on the website what features the pro pro version will have so i hope you find this amazing tutorial to be helpful if you just want to experiment with different type of uh, hardware platforms like HackRF, RF, RTLSDR or AirSpy, this is a really cool tool. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you very much. I hope you find this video amazing because I really did.